Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today's video is going to be take the Acer Predator Helios 300 2020 version with the 2070 uh, RTX 2070 in it. Uh, I'm going to test it with Cinebench. I'm going to put it through its bases with HWO Monitor. Um, all the different types of software I can find. Uh, and we're going to see how it performs. I'm going to do a couple games. And so it's going to be kind of long drawn out. So you want to skip ahead, skip ahead, see which one you're looking for. And uh, it's pretty impressive, actually. So I did all the different tests as much as I could remember which ones to do. Uh, if there's any I missed and you want to see it, let me know. And we'll go ahead and do it. The GPU is at 77 degrees. A lot of graphics here, guys. So just to keep that in mind. How much memory you're using. They're barely using five. CPU is set at about 87 degrees. This goes back up there a little bit. Get out. Here's how clear that is, how crisp the colors are. Just to look at the distance. You can even see the flowers over in the background. You can see the Jeep. Well, a couple more seconds of this. Let's see what happens. So it's just basically just to give you a look. And then we'll go into a different game. Nothing too exciting. Okay, so we're playing the game here. It's a pretty good game. Pretty intense at times. Got through. Now I have to sound off because the more important thing is to see the GPU is 73 degrees, how much memory you're using, CPU is 778, using 8 gigabyte of RAM and 174 FPS. And that's the good part. Okay, we gotta get another one. Anyway, you can see the FPS, real high FPS, and this is a pretty solid game actually. You need to see all that. It's kind of important. Okay, so we're going to show you, other than just in the game, we're going to show you uh, some of the temperatures. We'll go with HW and monitor, and we'll show you that as well. So we're going to get out of here and do that. Okay, so having a look at our temperatures, setting that idle, we're at 32 degrees. Now that is our hard drive. Okay, so we're setting that idle. And temperature for the 2070 GPU is at 48 to 49. And let's go down here a bit. Yep, so that's our temperature right there. 33 degrees on, on idle. So we're utilizing 46% uh, of our system memory right now. So you can see here now the CPU showing 58, GPU 48, and the system itself is 55. Now, here's what happens. You have to go in and select your actual graphics card if you want to run it for it to show up in here. When you get it, what happens is it defaults to the integrated graphics. Okay, so most things will run on that and it'll run cooler. But when you're gaming, you want to make sure the other one's available and that it's running. So there is a way to do that. So I'm going to quickly show you that. So you want to go to your NVIDIA control panel. So right click, NVIDIA control panel.
you want to go manage 3D setting, global settings, and hopefully when you click on this, your high performance processor, which is the 2070, is there. It comes by default on the integrated graphics, so I'm not sure exactly why that is, but I selected the high performance, which is why it's there now. And then you can go to your program settings in case there's anything different, or if you want a particular program to uh, use that. So right now, the program that's customized, and I could choose any program in here for what I want to do. All right, so that's just a quick thing. Then you want to go down here where it says Configure Surround Physics. And again, by default, it is setting at the Intel graphics. Okay, well, I have it now setting at the RTX 2070. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, you're not actually getting the most performance uh, out of your graphics card. You're using the integrated, and that's it. So just something to mention. So something else I wanted to do is run 3D Mark. So we're going to open it up, and we're going to do a validation score. And we're just going to do a quick benchmarking on there. Okay, so we're going to start off with Time Spy, and we're going to run. Yeah, it'll take a little while, so be patient. And then we'll check it out at the end. So I'm just going to maximize this. Okay, now we're going to get our result. Okay. Now, I don't know why it says invalid score, but there's our score at 65 weight, and that is not overclocked. If I overclock it, it'd be much higher than this. I know because I've already tested it once. So, you can see your graphic score on the left. Okay, right here. Here's our graphic score. There's our average FPSs for the different tests and our CPU. So that's it. So if you want to overclock your graphics card, you can simply go into your uh, Predator Sense down here. Once that opens up, so if you want to, you can go right here, and it's running on normal right now. Okay. So if I want it to be extreme, I just click that button. It's going to take a second, and now it's going to run max out. Uh, or you could tone it down a little bit and go with facts. So max outs here, middle of the road, and back to normal, which is setting up here somewhere. Okay, just good things to know. And like I say, I'm going to have another video on just all of the software that's in here. Okay, so we're going to run Cinebench R20 and see what we get as a result. So there we go, 27, 22 points, not bad. All right, everybody, so that's the video. If you like it, you know what to do. If you don't, well, you know what to do there, too. Uh, leave me a comment. If you're new here, think about subscribing. And hit that bell for future notifications if you want to see other videos as they come up. Um, I think I covered as much as I could think of. 
Uh, but if you have other questions, fire them at me. Thanks for watching.